In order for MDLT to really stay laser focused on our mission, we direct all of our resources toward the most critical aspects of what we do, which is growing plants for restoration and conserving seeds to protect the biodiversity of the desert, in addition to land acquisition and stewardship and outreach work that we do. The Mojave Desert Seed Bank is first and foremost a conservation seed bank, which means that the collections that we make, we are storing for long-term conservation. So we want to have seeds of as many species as possible from as many regions as possible. Those seeds can then be used if necessary for future restoration or for research or to grow plants out for our demonstration garden. We do have over 700 individual collections, which represent over 200 different taxa or species of plants. If we could estimate, we'd probably estimate somewhere between five and 10 million seeds in the seed bank. So our seed cleaning group comes every week to help us process our seeds. When we bring in a collection of seeds from the field, there's a lot more in that bag than just seed itself. You usually end up with a lot of extraneous plant material from the leaves and whatnot. And so before we can store a seed collection and really know what we have, we need to clean it. We need to get all that extra stuff out. It can be very tedious and seed cleaning is not for everyone. Uh, I find that people love it or hate it. It can be very um, meditative and zen-like and there's also a very social aspect. But other people might find it very tedious um, and boring or even difficult. You know, you really do have to have pretty good vision and, and dexterity in order to be able to do the work. Volunteers are absolutely critical to MDLT's mission and work. We could not do what we do without the help of our volunteers, and they are amazing. I show up and I'm, I'm like ridiculously happy and I'm not even getting paid to be here. <laughs> yeah, I've been volunteering with the MDLT for about um, just a few months. Definitely been able to connect with plants and um, learn a lot on the job, which has been nice. If anyone was asking me about volunteering, I think it's important. I mean, it's a whole community. I didn't even know of people who are either my age, older, or younger. I think it's fun to be a part of the community. This is actually our first restoration project. Like, usually what we've done in the nursery is we've collected the seed from wherever the client is, and then we grow them in the nursery, and then we hand them off. This project is unique in the sense that um, we're seeing it through. We're coming up here every month and we're taking care of the plants. In 2021, we came out on site and we collected seed from five different species. Um, and we went back to the MDLT nursery and we cleaned the seed and then we sowed them in tree pots. Five different species and 130 plus total plants. And then in November came out and we outplanted everything with the help of volunteers and staff. This is California buckwheat. This is one of the species that we grew and outplanted here for the restoration project. It's a great plant that you can have in your own yard. Pretty common species around here, but uh, definitely an easygoing species once it's become established in the soil. So this is desert almond. This is also another species that we grew from seed and outplanted. Um, it, about a month and a half ago, it was completely bare, but it's starting to put on new growth, um, and it's looking quite happy at the restoration site. It feels really good when we come up here during every visit and to see that the plants are succeeding and that they're happy, they're putting on new growth. It's a lot of work that goes into it and um, to grow something from seed and to see it develop in the nursery and then being able to plant it in the ground with our own hands and, and seeing it succeed, it's, it's very fulfilling. We decided to create the demonstration garden as a place for people to come and learn about MDLT, about what we do. As we were developing the garden signage, 
we knew from the beginning that we wanted it to be as inclusive as possible. So we decided to include Spanish and Serrano languages on the welcome panel and on all of our plant identification markers. And it was really a wonderful experience working with San Manuel on this project and we worked closely with their cultural advisory working group and their language revitalization program. For people at home who are wanting to start a desert-wise landscape, what I would recommend is coming to our plant sales and definitely starting with native plants. The desert is no different from any other place where people garden in that there are many different microclimates and soil types depending on where you live. So no one plant is going to be the right plant for every garden. The garden makes me feel so happy when I see it now. And what's really great is it's still developing. It's a work in progress. And at some point down the line, we hope to have an outdoor classroom and bring children and school groups and have workshops and things like that.